Happy St. Erho Day, the completely real, totally made up Finnish holiday from Minnesota that I literally just learned about today. Now we all know that the Irish have lots of saints. Their most famous one is St. Patrick, who drove all the snakes from Ireland. And of course we celebrate by donning green and getting hammered. Did you know that Finland has their own saint who has his own day on the day before St. Patrick's Day? St. Erho. Now similar to St. Patrick, the story goes that St. Erho drove a scourge of poisonous frogs from Finland. He drank some sour whole milk and ate some fish soup and it made his voice so loud that he could just yell the frogs away. But then the story evolved that he uh, didn't drive frogs but grasshoppers from Finland because they were eating all the grapes. Which certainly seems like a feat worth celebrating. But how did this tale and this holiday come to be? To understand that, we need to go all the way back to Finland, Minnesota in 1956. Actually, technically it's Virginia, Minnesota, but that's pretty close to Finland, Minnesota, and Finland, Minnesota really celebrates this holiday, plus sounded better for the video. So our story begins with Richard Matson, a Finnish-American department store worker from Virginia, Minnesota. One day, Richard was teased by a co-worker about how, unlike Ireland, Finland didn't have any cool saints like St. Patrick. I mean, Finland was like 95% Lutheran, and saints are really, you know, Catholic things, so sort of makes sense. But Richard, a proud Finn, was not about to be shown up by the Irish. So Richard told his co-worker, you know what, Finland has awesome saints. His co-worker was like, oh really? Name them. And Richard was like, uh, there's a Saint, um, uh, Saint, uh, Erho. And then he just made up the Ode to Saint Erho about the frogs and the yelling. And the feast day was set on May 24th. And the local Finnish community really started to grasp onto this story until it reached the ear of Dr. Sulo Havumaki, a professor of psychology at Bemidji State University. And he tweaked the story just a little bit to say that it was grasshoppers, not frogs, and they were eating all the grapes. Made the colors green and purple for grapes and grasshoppers, and then moved the date to the day before St. Patrick's Day so the Finns could start drinking green booze the day before the Irish. And it just kind of continued to gain popularity, spreading through the Finnish immigrant communities in northern Minnesota and Canada, eventually making its way back to Finland, where it's now celebrated there. And it is now an internationally recognized and celebrated holiday. So yeah, Minnesota, in the 20th century, in a small town department store, invented a holiday for a completely different country about a saint that doesn't exist. And got an international community every year to dress up in green and purple and cheers their green beer not to St. Patrick, but to St. Erho for yelling at grasshoppers. It's just one of those things you couldn't make up. Unless, of course, you're a Finn from Minnesota.